Hi everybody, my name is Officer Gladys and I'm with the City of Orlando Police Department and I am super happy to be reading with you today the story of if you ever want to bring a circus to the library, don't. This story is by author Elise Parsley. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start. If you see a poster that says you can do anything at the library, it means you can sit and read a book and use your imagination. It does not mean you can bring in a whole circus. If you set up your circus anyway, the librarian will remind you, don't let it get too noisy. You'll tell them that it's okay and that you know all the library rules. This circus will be safe and fun and you'll only use your inside voice Cross your heart. You'll start by wowing the crowd as an acrobat. You'll leap and twirl and balance on one foot. Then you'll do it again, only this time on a high wire. You'll leap. Sounds like fun to me, right? And twirl and You'll tell the audience to please hold their applause because you can do anything at the library except clap. Next up, your clown act. You'll ask for a volunteer from the audience to smash a pie in your face. Oh my goodness. You'll give your silliest look and she'll wind up. That's when you'll surprise her with your spare. You'll have to remind the audience not to cheer. This is a library after all, and you can do anything at the library except clap and cheer. At intermission, you'll hand out concessions, peanuts, popcorn, egg and cheese sandwiches. Only get this, it turns out you can do anything in the library except clap, cheer, and hand out concessions. All right, you didn't wanna do this, but you'll have no choice. You have got to dazzle this crowd and you'll do it as the amazing human cannonball. You'll clip on your helmet and warn, warn everyone to stay back. Then you'll count down from 10, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh-oh. If your cannon is a dud, you'll hear a kid, a kid say, boo. You'll start to shush them because, why? You can do anything at the library except boo. By now, of course, you'll wish you were sitting and reading and using your imagination instead of leading a circus. By now, you'd rather be scraping gum off some chairs than leading a circus. You will have to think of something quick before the crowd yells for you to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Look for a way to distract them. You'll read about the three billy goats and the booing will stop. Fingers crossed, right? You'll read about the hungry old troll and the smiling will start. You'll begin shouting, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And ba-boomba, bam. <laughs> That's when you'll know it's time to take your show on the road. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a circus to the library, don't. It's way too noisy. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed it.